Well, welcome to Grace Episcopal Church in Salem Springs, Arkansas. This is uh, July the 12th, I believe, um, Sunday, the sixth Sunday after Pentecost, and this is after church. I promised uh, a virtual tour of our new construction and forgot that we only have internet in the nave currently. We don't have it in the rest of the building. So we're doing this recording, thanks to Michael Dennison, who's my recorder. Um, uh, and then we'll post this uh, when you see it on YouTube. Um, so I'm standing in the chancel area, and uh, I'm standing here because several of you have mentioned how uh, ugly this carpet is with stains and wax and all kinds of things. And one of the things that we're going to do as a corollary project to all the big construction is we're going to replace this carpet with wood floor. So I wanted to show you this and say that that is going to happen uh, by the time the new building is completed as well. Um, also, I'm going to have uh, Michael um, travel that way and that uh, sprinkler that's exposed up there, Michael, let's look at that. Um, I just wanted to say something about our sprinklers. So this is the fire suppression that was required by the fire marshal in Salem Springs. Anytime you have a new building construction that's connected to an old building, you have to bring the old building up to code. Um, and so that's, that's a fire suppression uh, sprinkler that, uh, heaven forbid, we never have to have that come on. But in the meantime, look at this little white uh, uh, circle that's uh, next to the light there. Can you get that, Michael, okay? Um, that is what that pipe ends up looking like. So they cut that pipe off and they put the sprinkler head receded into the drywall and then they put a little patch up there to make it unobtrusive. Um, and so we've got those all over uh, the nave, um, and, and so they won't be as ugly, I guess. Um, so we'll go this way into the new building. Oh, and also, uh, because of what they had to do, cut, cutting out a drywall to get up into the attic area in this, in this space, um, they repaired all that and have repainted the whole thing. So this is, uh, beautifully clean and repainted uh, the, whole, uh, the whole church in here. So we'll move out this way and many of you have seen this before and so there's not a lot of change other than the fact that they have uh, started painting, they put lights in, you might get a shot of the lights up there Michael um, and so they, they put all of the uh, all the drywall, most of the drywall is finished. This area, you'll recall, is gonna be our beverage bar. You can see up here the outline of that beverage bar, this uh, kind of uh, drop down sheetrock there. There'll be a uh, floating island right here uh, that will be disconnected from the rest and open on the ends. Uh, cabinets, open cabinets against that side with a sink and area for prep for coffee and other beverages. And then this will be the serving area for that. Um, as we go back this way, I'm gonna turn on some lights. Uh, one of the cool things is that all of the lights in our parish hall, uh, for the most part now, will be motion activated. So anytime anybody walks in, uh, the lights will come on. You can see the motion sensor up here next to uh, the sprinkler. This is what the sprinklers will look like in this part of the church. Um, they will not be hidden, but they will fix that area and they'll be up into the ceiling more than that is now. But right next to that is the motion sensor. So those will turn on the lights wherever we are in the building. You can see, obviously there's still lots of construction happening. They painted all of this. I'm going to turn on another light and plug in some lights. Many of you have seen the kitchen uh, since the last time. These cabinets, they have 
begun to put in cabinets here. This will be an accordion window that will go up and down for serving. Close that when there's activity in here, we need to keep that closed. Uh, but but uh, food can come out through this window out into the serving area uh, out there. Um, you can see the appliances, they're still installing those. Uh, prep table with a sink, grill, stove, ovens. Um, this back here is the dishwashing area. Um, one thing, if Michael, you can get a picture of that window, you'll see how that sink butts up against that window. And that's a little bit awkward. Uh, what they're gonna do is put a three quarter size window there behind the sink, because you can see the edge of the sink goes up further than the window and they'll be splashing against that. So they'll end up putting like uh, a shorter, uh, or not as tall of a window there behind that area so that uh, they'll fix that design flaw. We'll go down this hallway. Not much has changed in the restroom, so I won't show you those other than painting and that kind of thing. Um, this old nursery, what used to be the nursery, they have paint, begun painting. You can see uh, color on the wall in here. And I'll move this way and you can get that little notch there. That used to be the uh, kind of toddler restroom, Michael. Um, and so it will be uh, an, uh, usable space, uh, not a restroom anymore. And then we'll go this way into the, what I'm calling the break hall. And you probably can't uh, see it, Michael, but um, when, we, when we begin to walk in here, this motion sensor will sense that we're coming and it will turn the lights on. There, it just did it. And so these can lights, up here, turn on when somebody walks in the room, and then turn off to save electricity. You can see the hanging lights. Um, I call them chandeliers, they aren't really chandeliers, but it, it's hard to see what they actually look like with the plastic on there. But they're beautiful lights that will be uh, in, in the gray hall here, um, all the way back. And we'll just walk back so you can see some of the windows that are back here and of course as I've mentioned before out to my left uh, will be the children's playground straight out here we're, we're uh, planning a, a labyrinth uh, prayer garden and some of you have noticed Michael I don't know with the film on these windows if you can get it but there is a uh, a retention pond that has been dug here uh, on that corner of the property, the, the southwest corner of the property. That will end up uh, having that gravel and other fill in it. It won't be actually a standing pond. Uh, you won't really even know it's a retention area, but it's required by city code. And so that's why that, that is there. Closet space here. Um, we'll go back this way to the music room. And there are no lights in here right now, uh, but they've begun painting, you can see. Uh, so they've got the first coat of paint on this room. And you can even hear how my voice changes in this room. There's a bit of an echo, and that's on purpose. Uh, the acoustics in this room, as I said before, uh, were designed for music. So uh, things are coming along. Um, I'll walk this way, Michael. Um, the Jan's office will be here in the music room, and right to Michael's right is the music library area. And you'll see there how that wall is offset. Um, that's because there's a pocket door that's going to go there and a pocket door on the other side as well so that this will be closed but you can open it uh, walk through here music library here another pocket door here that you can open and gain access to this hallway 
which is also where we will have in this area uh, vestments for uh, acolytes, Eucharistic ministers, uh, etc. Uh, an exit there you can see they're preparing to pour sidewalks. And then as we, uh, Michael, get a shot up, if you don't mind, they're also preparing to put in the drop-in ceiling uh, up above us. And that's throughout these side areas where we'll have drop-in ceilings. Of course, on either side of this hallway where Michael is are restrooms. They don't have lights right now, so it's hard to see in there, but Michael, as we walk by, you might see if you can get a shot. And then, our mechanical room, this is actually this, this ante room here is the janitor's closet. So there'll be a sink that's here, an area for janitor's bucket and that kind of thing. And then as you walk in here, since our last tour, you'll see they've done some work. They've added water heaters. We've got uh, the beginnings of our HVAC system in here, as well as our fire suppression system, which is what all these big pipes are here uh, as well, in addition to some electrical work. So I'll follow you out, Michael. Then I'm going to take you this way, uh, back through the Great Hall to the east. I'm sorry, I think I said southeast corner. That's the southwest corner where the retention point is. Um, so double door, this will be one of the main entrances. Right now they don't have the sidewalk correct there. It will go all the way out to the parking lot on that end. Uh, so they're gonna correct that on, on Monday. But this will be one of the main entrances to your left, Michael's left. Uh, that's Bay's office, which has a lot of junk in it right now. But she will have a sliding window here in order to greet people that come in uh, so that she can see who's coming in the building. This will be kind of the primary, become the primary entrance. Uh, so she'll be able to have access to people that come in. Then we'll go down this hall, walk into the classroom space. Uh, this is one of the interior classrooms. They're painting, as you can maybe tell, it's a little bit dark. It's a kind of a gray color in here. Um, but a nice large space and as we walk through this classroom we come into the hallway that connects an exterior door to the great hall um, and this is the area where kids will use this door to access the playground uh, and this is also incorrect they're gonna make this wider the sidewalk wider and it will go straight back there. There'll be a wrought iron fence here so that kids won't be running into the parking lot, but they'll be constrained by this fence to go directly back to uh, the playground area. So um, to our left is the new food pantry, the Grace Church Pantry. Um, and so this is primarily a storage area. We'll have refrigerators, as well as a lot of shelving in here uh, on movable wheels um, that we can store food for our food pantry ministry that will expand on the little free pantry that we currently have. Um, then to this side is another classroom. You can see they've got storage in here for various things, but a beautiful space. You've seen this before and they're starting to paint the walls in here as well. And you can see the drop-in ceiling that's happening up there. So all of that, all the ceiling should be in this coming week. Uh, they're also beginning to put interior doors in. So next week we may do this again. There may be a lot of progress on the building. I mean, every week there's progress, but some is more noticeable than others. But you can see directly across from me, are some of the interior doors. They've got them stacked up right here, as well as uh, some of the door frames uh, that are over there. 
So, uh, things are coming along right now. Uh, the, uh, on my Thursday construction meeting with the contractors and the architects, they're saying the building uh, completion date right now is September 7. Um, and so, it's coming fast. Uh, we're, I think we're really going to enjoy the space. So, I wish this was a Zoom so that you could ask questions. And uh, by September 7th, we will have internet everywhere, uh, so we'll be able to, to access that uh, at a later time. But right now, that's going to be one of the last things that they put in is the internet access points after they get all of the finished work done, I believe. So anyway, welcome. Uh, look forward to seeing you in person in our new building. Take care. Bye.